everywhere. Oh no! What was that? It's too late. They're coming. But we won't let them get you. It might have been fun to watch the creatures of A Quiet Place from the comfort of your home. But what are you going to do now that they've set their ears on you? Don't worry. We've got just the tips to help you survive this alien invasion. Here's how to survive A Quiet Place. I hope you're listening to this in your headphones, my friend. They're out there. Terrible alien creatures have invaded Earth, and their only goal seems to be to extinguish humanity. The invaders are faster than any vehicle. They're strong enough to break through any building and have impenetrable armor. They're blind, but these aliens have incredible hearing. They can hear the slightest noise from miles away, and they will hunt you viciously. That's why we'll explore the best ways to avoid them, escape from them, and even fight them. And surprisingly, you may need an electric guitar to blow them away. How can you communicate with other survivors? Which food sources would be safe? How can you trick them? Step one, secure your routes. You manage to survive the initial attack and learn that these things hunt you by sound, but you need shelter, a source of food, and water. Stay away from cities. Even empty of people, cities are full of noisy things that you can't control, like car alarms and falling things. Seek shelter outdoors, where you can find water sources and the wind can dissipate some of your noises. But don't walk on forest trails. The rustle of leaves is loud enough for them to hear you and hunt you down. You can mark your routes with sand, so it absorbs the noise of your footprints and protect your feet because, you know, you can't wear shoes. Step two, eat quietly. Avoid any packaged, crunchy foods. Opening a box or can could be enough to get you killed. Look for a quiet, natural food source such as fish. I know, fish are noisy, but the sound of running water will mask a lot of the noises you make and provide you with a fresh water source. Fortunately, a cooking fire doesn't seem to get the alien's attention, so you can cook your fish. But don't use oil or dishes, as they can be very noisy. And unfortunately, greens are not an option. Think of all the noise you make growing a crop, storing them in the fridge, and even chewing them. So it's fish tonight, my friend, again. Step three, learn new languages. The most important thing is your ability to communicate effectively with other survivors without speaking. Sign language is your best option, but this type of communication varies from country to country. Fortunately, there is an international sign language and it is very similar to American Sign Language. But if you need to communicate with people at a distance, you can use a flashlight or a fire to share messages in Morse code. It's a good idea to at least know how to say SOS. It's three quick flashes, three long flashes, and three short flashes again. Wait a few seconds and repeat the signal until you get a response. Oh yes, this is great. There are other survivors in the area. Step four, make some noise. It doesn't matter how stealthy you have become. Eventually, you will make some noise and the creatures will come after you. So prepare some loud and distant sound sources to distract them. You can use some fireworks that you can set off from your shelter, but you can also put out some sound devices that you can control remotely, like Bluetooth speakers. That's assuming that electricity is still available. But if it isn't, you can use some portable solar panels to keep those devices running. Step five, rock them off. You can't spend your whole life hiding, my friend. At some point, you will have to fight. Fortunately, their strength is also their greatest weakness. Those deep ears are so sensitive 
that audio feedback seems to put them in deep pain. Audio feedback occurs when you close the loop between an input, such as a microphone, and an output, such as an amplifier. So get an amp and a microphone. Or you can use a more fun option, like an electric guitar. Those little pickups are basically microphones that translate the notes you play on the strings into an electrical signal and transport them to the amp. So if you put those pickups in front of the amp, you'll blow those critters' heads off. If you share this secret, maybe all the surviving musicians will turn up the volume on their amps and wipe out these creepy aliens. That was terrifying. Anyway, you can finally listen to some music and relax. But wait, what's that moaning sound coming from outside? Oh no, now zombies have spread all over the world. How can you survive that? Do you know that scientists have calculated how many days it would take for a zombie outbreak to wipe out humanity? Yes, we can tell you. Just keep watching here on How to Survive.